Hi everybody. I am starting to do day five. I keep getting the days mixed up, but it is, oops, I'm trying to get my phone in here. Um, it is going by date. So since it's the fifth today, it's day five. I picked out a photo, so I'm going to turn this camera around. Um, I'm trying to figure out what all these little icons on here mean because I have never gone live before on Instagram or ever anywhere. <laughs> so I have no idea what all this is. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know if I can see comments. Um, so we're just gonna kind of start drawing um, because I still have to go to the library. So here is the reference photo I have picked for today. It is from Colorado Springs uh, that we went to in 2022. Uh, we went there last year too, and we went two years ago, and we went like five years ago. We just keep going back because we love it. So this is from two years ago. Um, I think this was the drive to something. <laughs> I don't know what. Anyway, I'm just going to pick this one. I kind of looked through these photos just to see like an interesting mountain range so that it's not too like straight. Uh, you know, like this one is a little bit too boring. There's really not much going on there. Not that you can't add your own stuff. This would be pretty good as well. I'm not going to crop it. I'm not going to worry about that. This is a gesture drawing. Um, gesture, meaning it's just very quick. You kind of look at your subject. You draw very quickly what you want to. Uh, your brother-in-law lives there. Hey, I want to live there too one day. Um, gesture drawing. Yeah, you just quickly draw what you kind of see, just the main shapes, main values. You don't worry about the details. You don't worry too much about the shape of the mountain. You just kind of get it down on there and um, just quickly get your ideas down on paper. That's the number one thing. So these little drawings at most will not take me more than 15 minutes. Usually it's somewhere around five to 10 minutes, depending on how <laughs> how much detail I wanna go into or like how much shading I'm doing. Um, I don't have any here with me because I already packed them up to ship them. But I have some older ones. This is one of my favorites. It's also from Colorado Springs. Um, it's very simple. It's just got blocks of color, darkest areas, kind of medium areas, and then the lightest areas that were kind of like cloudy and kind of far in the distance. I just made it white and I just did like an outline. So you can just see that there's a mountain there, but I'm not gonna fill it in with detail. Um, so that's kind of what we're going for. If you guys want to participate, with me. So I'm just going to start and you guys can um, enjoy watching. Let me flip you around here. All right. Let me know if you can, oops, if you can see all good. How do I get rid of, because I have this filter on here. How do I get rid of the filter? There we go like that I guess figured it out all right so I'm just gonna start and what I'm using is I have different pencils I have my regular 2b 2b pencil which is like a regular standard pencil then I have a 3b one which is a little bit softer so a little bit darker and then I have a 7b one which is that's just what I had laying around guys I am not like picking crazy pencils here. Um, but this one is also very soft, so I can do a little thing for you here. If I, whoops, let's just keep turning. All right, so this is the 2B pencil, just your regular standard pencil. It's kind of gray. The 3B one gets a little darker, and then my 7B one it's even darker but even this one sometimes doesn't cut it um, and then I use this one right here this is not charcoal this is kind of like this is a Conti crayon which is kind of like charcoal kind of like a colored pencil 
it's not as chalky as charcoal. Charcoal is very um, loose and it'll easily just like rub off. This is a little bit different. Um, I don't know what I would compare it to. Not It's not waxy like a crayon, but it's also not as chalky as charcoal. I like it because it's not so messy, but it's it's still messy. But I use this one for my darkest darks. So when I want something to be like super black, I use this one. Let me check if I have a box that it came in, although I don't think I do. I don't think I have the package, but this is Conti crayon. So they come in different colors as well, not just black. So I use that one. I also have this one, which is just graphite. This is just basically a pencil, but in like a stick form. So I've used that. Um, I have my, oops, my kneaded eraser if I need to lift any color. So this is not like a regular eraser. Let me lift this up. Not like a regular eraser that you like rub with because these things, you if you rub it, it'll just smudge all over and it'll be a mess. So what you do with this is you kind of knead it, like it's called. You can get a smaller section and then you can form it into whatever shape you need. So maybe you need to lift like a little bit of color. So all you do is you just dab onto your drawing and you can do this for pencils too and you can just lift the color up a little bit to lighten it up so you don't rub with it you just kind of press and then it lifts some of that color up see so if you see me using the eraser it's this one um I also use this one a lot I've had this for like the last 25 years it's from Poland. I don't know whose it was. I'm pretty sure it got left over from my dad or somebody brought it from Poland. Um, and it's just graphite as well. I don't know. It's kind of like a 2B pencil. I am not sure. It's a little darker maybe. So maybe it's like a 3B. I can't see because everything is worn out. And um, But it's basically a pencil. So that's what I will be using now as far as paper I am using this one right here Stonehenge colors by Legion and I'm using the big sheets because that's all I have these are 11 by 14 and then I just cut it down and I get four five by sevens out of it and it comes in different colors so like this one right here i'm using is gray they have a warm white which is just a little little bit pink a little bit peachy they have a bright white one a little creamy one that's a little bit more yellowy and the one that i used for the last few days was this one right here so this is kind of more antique looking um so those are the many colors that I choose from, but today we're using gray. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna pull up my photo again, cause it disappeared. And I'm just gonna look at the photo, pick a mountain range and just kinda try to get it in here. Obviously I'm not gonna fit the full, I'm not gonna fit the full thing in here. I'm just gonna pick like a section. What I do is I pretend that I am in the car because I do these a lot. These little sketches I do in the car as we're like driving through the mountains on vacation. So when I'm doing them at home from a photo, I just pretend I'm in a car and I only have a few minutes before the landscape changes and I have to quickly get it down on paper. You know, that kind of, I'm, I try to trick myself. All right, so let's get started. Whoops, hold on. Okay. So, and if this sucks, I will just, I will just make another one. Um, what else? Oh, today is day five. So if you guys comment, not on here, because I don't know how to do comments on here and all that. I will upload this video or another photo of 
today's piece and then you can comment on that one and the first person to comment sold will get to buy this little pretty landscape um, for five dollars plus four dollars shipping um, and then we do payments over Venmo or Etsy if you're more comfortable doing it through like a website just fine by me a lot of you probably already have accounts on Etsy so um, it's easy to just check out there and I don't mind um, posting it on Etsy if that's what you want and then then I just ship it so I'm just trying to get the main mountain uh, shape on top and I am doing this part right here and I already feel like this should be a little higher so I might I might raise it up a little bit but this is just to get the idea down right we're not getting any details in just the darks the lights and the shapes and it also helps to not hold your pencil like super close and super detailed because that makes you do more details uh, hold a little further a little bit looser sometimes i even hold it like in a weird wonky way just to like let go of the <laughs> perfectionism that tries to take over um the grass there's like a gr big field of grass right here and then there's trees they're teeny tiny um but there's a bunch of trees and hills and over here and all that kind of stuff so all i do is little squiggles so that it looks like there's something growing there but we're not putting each individual little tree in there because that would take years <laughs> um here's like a big bush of trees little grasses you can put little little tiny impressions of grass that's why it's called impressionism but this is a gesture drawing so this is not even impressionism it's less than that <laughs> all right so this comes in front then it's going to get a little dark here this one's going to be the darkest and then i'm just trying to figure out what are the dark parts so kind of over here a little bit here i drew this mountain a little bit wrong because i wanted it to get wanted to get it a little higher but i didn't get it big enough uh, that's okay though Oh, let me tell you a funny story. I was gonna go live a couple hours ago. I'm gonna take my 7B now, just to get the darks darker. I was gonna go live a couple hours ago, um, but unbeknownst to me, <laughs> Facebook and Instagram decided to um, just have an outage. And, you know, I didn't know. I tried to log into, I made a story telling you guys that hey i'm going live in an hour you know check back in an hour and it wouldn't load it kept telling me that there's no internet so i'm like okay well maybe my wi-fi is down but i checked it on the computer and it was working fine so i'm like no the wi-fi is working it's just not working on instagram for some reason so i um kept trying and kept trying and didn't have any luck so then i um closed out of instagram um and then i couldn't log back it like it basically logged me out and it kept telling me that i have the wrong password and i'm like i don't have the wrong password this has been my password forever um so i started freaking out i tried to reset my password it wouldn't <laughs> let me reset my password it wouldn't let me reset my password on Facebook either since I have my Facebook uh, art account, business account, everything is like connected. It wouldn't let me do it on Facebook. It wouldn't let me reset my password on Instagram. It basically locked me out of everything and I was freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, I'm being hacked, you know, panic mode. Um, and it turns out I wasn't being hacked. 
I did manage to reset my password and do all that eventually, but that's after <laughs> Facebook already came back online. Apparently they had some outage. It's like in the news because my fiance texted me and he told me that um, Facebook and Instagram are just having an outage of some kind. So I was not being hacked. Thank God, because I was freaking out because, you know, my whole business is on Instagram and that it's not just like a private account where I just, you know, share pictures of my of my food. It's, you know, my whole business. So I was legitimately freaking out, trying to reset passwords, trying to get back into my account. Um, and I couldn't. But now that I know that it wasn't hacked, I can relax a little bit. And all right, I am. Um, I lost my train of thought because I'm trying to figure out these shadows here because it's a little confusing, and I'm trying to do this kind of quickly so that it's more gestury instead of um, detailed. I tend to try to do very gesture drawings, and then sometimes I still. Um, come in with details and then I'm like no this was supposed to be very loose and sketchy so when I notice that I just kind of switch gears and I try to speed up um, let me see these mountain ranges in here so this is dark then it gets darker down here then it kind of travels up here just the main shapes, guys. Remember that when you're doing these. Main shapes of darks. And, like, there's not a lot of very lights on here since this is just a dark brown, gray, green mountain. Um, there's really not a lot of lights in here. So not a lot of contrast. So I'm trying to make my own a little bit. And then I'm going to bring a little bit more balance down here. So a little bit more darks right here. Just get a, get it a little bit more um, like messy. Just get in there and get it messy. Don't worry about being perfect. This is a really fun exercise too. If you are just like, you need a little warm up. If you are an artist and you need a little warm up in the morning before you start working or at night, like when you're just watching TV and maybe don't want to just watch TV, maybe you want to do something. This is really fun and easy to do. Um, and you're not wasting a lot of supplies. It's just pencils and paper. You can use regular sketchbooks. I use, let me show you, I use these sketchbooks. I actually get these from Target because they're pretty cheap. I think they're like six or seven dollars and I just use these for all kinds of random junk in there. So you can grab one of those. I'm gonna kind of suggest that there's some clouds in here. So I'm gonna, just to fill up this empty space, because there's so much empty space here. So I'm gonna do like a little, little cloud here. And these are just, hold your pencil loose. And these are just little outlines, not even outlines, just little suggestions of clouds. You can, you can give them a little shade if you want. If you want to darken them up. Because these, there's a lot of clouds here, as you can see in this photo. So I don't want to leave it totally empty. I want to give it a little, little something up there. Okay. I don't, don't like how this is kind of here in the edge. Now, the only problem with using these Conti crayons mixed with like regular pencils. I don't know if you guys can see on camera here. Let me try to recreate the lighting. As you can see, the Conti crayon is very matte. It doesn't like give off a lot of sheen, shine. Um, the pencil though has a little bit more shine. So I ordered myself today actually some matte pencils. Um, the black wing ones that are like very popular amongst the artists. 
So I will report back. I think they're coming Friday, maybe Friday. Um, and I will let, let you guys know how those work because as you can see, I don't know if you can see, see like the pencil part is kind of shiny, but then the Conti crayon is very matte, black matte. There's no shine to it. Um, so it kind of bugs me that um, there's that difference, you know, because I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it or if anybody will really care, but it bugs me. <laughs> so I ordered some black wing pencils and we'll see. All right, I am almost done with this. I'm just gonna darken this area up a little bit more. And kind of make sure it's going right here. All right, I think that's pretty good. I kind of like it. I like how loose it is. Um, I like how it's a little bit messy, which is what I'm going for. And I think, I think I'm done. So I'm just going to sign this right now. Um, let me get this nice and sharp. Where's my sharpener? And I'm going to sign it right down here. Now signing is always nerve wracking. All right, all done. All right guys, so I will go and snap a photo of this and I will post it to Instagram. Oops. And the first person to comment sold will get to purchase this little guy. And guys, if you really, really like one of these and it got sold and you weren't the lucky buyer, I will try to make prints of these. I'm going to just lighten this up a little bit because I just need a little more contrast. Um, I will make prints of the ones that are requested the most. So if you do want one and you missed out, just leave a comment saying, oh my gosh, I would love a print <laughs> or message me or something, you know, so I know that you guys like that particular one because I will scan each of these and then I will pick the best ones or the ones that are requested the most and I will make prints of those, okay? So don't worry if you miss out, I will have prints available. Uh... All right, I think now, now it's a little better. All right, there it is. I will go and snap a photo of this and post it. So get ready. Um, it should only take me a few minutes, so hang in there. Now, how do I stop this? 